verstehe. Wie konnte das denn passieren? Keine Angst, Mutter, ich kümmere mich um alles. I wonder what Christian's saying to his parents. Hey, I learned a lot of German hanging out with him. He just said that his cat has pimples. <laughs> Bad news, guys. My parents said they can't afford to send me to school here anymore. You don't have to make up stories. Laz already told us about your cat's acne. <laughs> Christian, what's going on? If I want to stay here at the academy, I have to help pay for tuition. Well, what about that basketball scholarship you applied for? I haven't heard anything, so I guess I didn't get it. No, big deal. I haven't heard back from Cindy Crawford about our date this weekend, but that doesn't mean she ain't coming. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, I was thinking dinner and a movie, but if Cindy has any ideas, I am flexible. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I just have to find a job. Oh, hey, there's a job open at Fifi's Boutique. I'll put in a good word for you. Oh, thanks, Winnie. You're the best. Hey, look, buddy, you're gonna need more than one job. If you want to stay in the school, you're gonna have to raise a lot of money. Yeah, I'll help you out, man. Am I gonna end up wearing a chicken suit and a fried egg on my head? <laughs> well, if you want to, but I was gonna recommend looking into one ends. Come on, guys, I got a newspaper in the room. Hello, girls. Hello. Have you come up with an idea for your student service project? Um, of course we have. Yeah, and, uh, we would tell you what it is, except for we don't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> I hope it's a crisis helpline for students at the academy. What a coincidence! That's it! Wonderful! Show up at Mr. Elliott's office tomorrow afternoon. Okay, okay. will do. Goodbye. Will do. Isn't this exciting, a crisis helpline? Not only will we be able to aid desperate, troubled students, but we'll be making big bucks on top of it. Oh, Ashley, this is a volunteer job. We're not going to get paid. What? You mean we're going to have to listen to a bunch of whiny losers not get paid? <laughs> What's the point? Because, Ashley, it would be nice. Yeah, well, nice don't make me rich, sister. Ashley. <laughs> well, all right, I'll do it. Sure. Girl, thank you. You okay? Mm -hmm. So, what do you think of the dress? It doesn't fit, and it's way too expensive. Should I wrap it for you? No, I don't want it. In that case, how about a cleaning product that will replace all the products you now own? <laughs> this cleaning solution can remove any stain. Like mustard, <laughs> ketchup, <laughs> even motor oil. <laughs> and it can be all yours for just $19.95. Look at what you've done to my coat! I'm going to the manager. Okay, I'll give it to you for five bucks. Christian, what did you just do to that customer? Oh, she went to talk to the manager. I must have really impressed her. Look, if Fifi finds out what you did, she's gonna be furious. Oh, Winnie, this is terrible. You have to defend me. You have to tell Fifi this was all a big mistake. Okay, don't worry, baby. Winnie's gonna take care of her man. I just heard what happened. Okay, now just calm your little first self down, Fifi. <laughs> all right, now, I'm responsible for Christian, so whatever he did, it's my fault, too. Fine. Then you are both fired. Uh-uh. No, like I said, it's all his fault. Yeah, Christian, you're fired. I'm sorry, Christian. I understand. But before I go, would you like to buy a cleaning product that will replace all of the products you now own? <laughs> Welcome to Cafe USA. Christian, when did you start working here? After Fifi fired me, Lon was nice enough getting me this job waiting tables. You ready to order? Yeah, yeah. Let me get a, a bacon cheeseburger and a cream soda. You got a club sandwich and a tomato juice. <laughs> Christian, you seem a little out of it. Oh, that's because I had to work the late shift at 7-Eleven. How many jobs do you have? Six. <laughs> Maybe you should take a nap during your lunch break. I can't. I have to go down to the clinic and sell my blood. <laughs> Excuse me. You call this a tip? I have to pay for school with this money. Man, you might as well leave me nothing. Well, if that's how you feel... <laughs> I was just kidding. Give it back, please. Uh, Christian... Before you say anything, I want to thank you again for this job. About the job. The manager asked me to tell you something. I'm getting a raise? No. A promotion? No. I'm fired? Yes. I guessed it. 
Oh. Academy Crisis Helpline. Oh, that is a problem. There's a six-foot, blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy who won't stop hitting on you. Well, I'll tell you what to do. Give him my number. Let him hit on me. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> well then, girl. <laughs> yeah, nice job. Ashley, what's wrong? I didn't understand. You two have been getting exciting calls all day. No one seems to want to talk to me. Well, Ashley, that's because everyone knows about the one call you got. You know, from the old lady whose cat got stuck in the tree. Chopping down the tree seemed like a good idea at the time. Besides, I didn't know the old lady was standing underneath it. I'll take this one. Hello, Academy Crisis Helpline. Yes, this is Ashley Elliott. Hello? Hello? I was just fired for my night watchman job. I fell asleep and the store was robbed. Well, doesn't the store have an alarm? Yeah, but I was so tired I just turned it off. <laughs> Thought it was hitting the snooze button. Well, how many jobs have you been fired from? Well, out of the six I have, six. <laughs> I guess I have to drop out of school and go back to Germany. Oh, drop out? That's grin talk. Never give up. You gotta pull yourself up by the bootstraps, my boy. Okay, well, you got a plan? Well, no, I was hoping one of you guys would. I have a marvelous idea. We'll all chip in to pay for Christian's tuition. I'll just pass around this hat. I'm a little short right now, so we'll start with Lauren. Well, I don't get paid till Friday. Sorry. Well, all I have is two bucks and a slice of ham, but it's all yours, bud. Well, except for the ham. <laughs> And I'm a little short right now, guys. Doesn't anyone have any money? Well, look on the bright side, Christian. There's no bright side. And in that case, have a nice trip. 